Hello, and welcome to the conversation about how to break the complex stress cycle and protect your health at work and at home. My name is Olga Reins. I'm a life and business strategist and certified health coach, and I work with leaders of families, of companies, of industries, governments, to help them live, love, and live powerfully. Today, we will be exploring the concept of conflict, stress, well-being, and you, this beautiful puzzle, this paradox that is taking so much of our energy and time. We first will explore and peel off what conflict is and what it is not, and what are the components in it, and how relationship conflict is different from process and task conflicts. We will take a look into the cost of avoiding conflicts and the reason we feel so, so strongly to take us to put this under the rug. And in fact, the mistake we make by putting this under the rug and how it comes back and bites us and really brings us even more strengths, even more mental and health issues in our life. We will take a look into this element of the third wave, I call it, coming back, going back into the offices and how this potentially has the possibility to disrupt not just the old routines and the newly established routines, but also create additional challenges that we will be facing because of the disruptions that it comes brings back because of the life issues that we're dealing with, because of our illusion about the work-life balance that we're trying to find. We will talk about this greatest myth of the 21st century that I see in, in all my programs and all my coaching all the time and what to do instead, how to really truly find a way to just resolve this puzzle, that multidimensional success that we are. We will be talking about the space of conflict and stress and the bullying and aggressive behavior at workplace and at home and how it manifests in us and why we're experiencing that. We will explore the five steps of building up to experiencing stress and experiencing conflict and the three brains that actually work with you, for you, or against you, whether you like it or not. And most importantly, how to take control over this and bring this in our reality so we can get out of overwhelm. We will take a look into the overwhelm itself and I will take you through the seven step pieces that constitute the formula of changes taken over your resources in your perception. So we can see how understanding all of this will allow us to start kind of building that relationship between a simple disagreement and a much more intense conflict and how this conflict can take us to the place of feeling danger and activate our amygdala response and amygdala hijack, where we actually lose control over all the brilliance we have when we're in the green zone of nervous system and taking us to this fight, flight, freeze, faint stress response, activating the super powerful stress conflict hijacking cycle that then takes care of our thoughts, emotions, and actions. We will take a look how these behaviors we accidentally assign to our, in, uh, our personality and how this contributes in to the elephant in the room that we experience conflict and stress in our life. We'll talk about how to chase those elephants out. That's exactly what I do as a coach and what I do as the executive coach and find and chase these elephants out of relationships, out of work, where it shows up in relationships and how to stop feeling alone with the problems that really, really not yours only and how to bring us back together. We will explore the actual cost, not just to you, but also to companies, to economies, to governments, so we can understand how serious this conversation is. And all of this to start building back up, not just winning that war, but really building the peace back together. We will take a look into what peace is and how to grow from conflict and diversity, how to shift our stress into the place of power, understand our needs and see how we build our relationship with this in, in that very powerful wellness loop. We will look into causes of conflict and its relationship to our needs in specific situations. We will see the stages of conflict and how we can translate this into conflict management and how people experience 
management styles in a very different way because of this culture and, and societal paradigms that we carry. We will take a look into the high performance relationship with stress and four steps to get us to the place of control. So we can stop and interrupt and find alternative solutions in the pause state, bring back our anxiety back into awareness and control of the present. So we can understand the formula of success and how to plan for success. And finally, the fourth and final step how to act through control, influence, and accept and adapt methodology to get to the balance you who knows how to really operate and focus and control and be the best self you can be. My name is Olga Ryans, and I look forward to seeing you in the presentation. Thank you.